Okay, so here is our test cell. It is in the Lexan shield. It is in a vent hood. The vent hood is continually venting. This is a small annex building that is receiving air from the main building through this port over here. The main building is an extremely stable temperature. It's thermally massive and well insulated. This is open to the outside, not as well insulated. So there's a lot of air flowing by here, but overall it averages out pretty consistent. So we're talking about the 7 watts that we're seeing on the excess power calculation. And I thought I would give you a quick tour of the cell, because I've seen something pretty interesting here. You can see it's different wires down there. And I can take the temperature gun and look at the temperature of the wire. In the first groove, the heated wire right now, the groove shows on the mica 130. The next groove, 190. The next groove, 244. The next groove, 260. The next groove, 268. 274, 279, 280, 285, 285, 286, 286, 287, 283, 284, 282, 280, 277-260, 248-235-212-199-178 and then as we get, that's right up there by the flange. I don't know how well this can come across in the video, but from this point, this is the last wrap, and this is nichrome wire. The Chelani wire is in this previous groove, and it wraps around the back, comes up here, and then over to the terminal bolt, where it makes its electrical connection. So what we're seeing is a temperature gradient that means that the center of the mass of the wraps is reading or is actually experiencing a much higher temperature than we are reporting on the T mica. The T mica is on the back side of this bolt right there. On this side of the bolt we're reading 285. On the back side, the thermocouple that's pinned under there is reading about 229. So it's entirely possible that the center of the cell, the wires are experiencing temperatures right up near triggering. It would be interesting. I'm going to let it sit as it is for a while, see if this excess heat level holds, and then I'm going to ramp it up another uh, couple watts and see what happens. It should bring it closer to 300 watts along much of the center in there. Maybe another 10 watts. Uh, we'll give it. Thanks for playing in my lab with me.